everyone. Today I thought I would do a haul video for you. I don't do haul videos very often. In fact, I don't think I have any haul videos like up on my channel. So I guess this is my first like haul video. And if you've been following me, then you know that Slava and I just bought our first home together. So I thought that I would kind of commemorate that by just buying myself a nice pen because I have been doing really, really well not to buy anything for myself for like the last two months. I've had like a very perfect no spend. Rewarding myself for that and also commemorating this like kind of a mental occasion for us by buying myself a nice new pen because Slava treated himself to a nice new watch. So we're, we're both each other's like very terrible enablers when it comes to like spending things on our hobbies and interests. So when he gets something nice, I also want to get something nice for myself. So here we go. So this order I placed from Jet Pens and... I bought myself a new pen, but I also kind of like threw in a few other things too, just because I could. So I also got four new fountain pen inks. By the way, if you've been like following me, you may or may not know because I don't actually talk about it a lot in my YouTube videos, but I kind of have like an unhealthy obsession with fountain pens, which I don't talk about it very often, but you will see me like show my fountain pens quite often on um, my Instagram stories. <laughs> But yeah, so now you know. I have an obsession with fountain pens. This will be fountain pen number 22 in my collection, and I am very excited about it because I think it might actually also be my most expensive one yet. I'll get to that in like a second, but first I threw some book darts into the order because I keep telling myself that I want these, but they're just like so small. I'm not going to place a whole order just to buy book darts, and I keep forgetting to put it in my orders, so this time I actually remembered to put it in my order. So here we go, some book darts, and here are the four inks that I got, so I'll just... This is so much bubble wrap, which actually kind of nice because now that we're like moving, I've been saving every single like scrap of bubble wrap and packing supplies and boxes in preparation for our move. Our closet is like bursting with like packing supplies. I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> we look like we're like a shipping company at this point, if I'm being honest. Otherwise, this amount of bubble wrap, it's like appreciated because it keeps it safe. But at the same time, I'm like, that's a lot of plastic. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So we got four inks. The first one that I got was Deatramentus Document Ink in Fog Gray. And then I also got, what's this one called? This is the Takeda Jimuki Kyo no Oto Hisoku um, with my very bad Japanese. And uh, we got Robert Oster in Pinky and Robert Oster in Avocado. Four new inks and I am going to fill pens up and kind of test them out towards the end of this video. So we'll see about that. And here's the pen. So I decided to get this pen because one, I saw on Amanda Tana Donata. Yes, yes, maybe. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, Amanda. But on her Instagram, she posted some pictures of her pen next to her planner and I just I just remember thinking when I saw those photos, wow, that pen is super, super cute. And then I came across it when I was kind of browsing around for pens to buy and I was like, that's it. That's the one I'm getting. And also because I have no platinum pens in my collection. I have zero platinum fountain pens. So this is the platinum fountain pen that I got. So here we go. Oh, that's such a pretty like pink purple color. Yes, this is exactly what I'm so, so excited about. This one is the Platinum 3776 Century in the color Nice Lilas, which I think is lilac in French. Yes, it is lilac in French. Also, can we like take a moment to appreciate that cute little heart-shaped breather hole on the nib? Yeah, there it is, that little heart-shaped breather hole. That's so adorable. Anyway, so this is a 14 karat gold nib. It feels really, really good, actually. I don't know, people keep saying that these like facets on here are like sharp, I don't really feel that, but what do I know? You know, I'm kind of a fountain pen newbie. I still consider myself anyways. And then it already comes with a converter, which is silver. Um, doesn't make sense to me because everything else is like in a rose gold tone and they do have a gold converter. So I don't know why they don't just include the gold converter, but whatever, you know, at least it came with a converter, I guess. Mm. <laughs> But I think that the tone hides it pretty well, actually. So it's not too bad. It still looks super, super cute. And I really, really love the shape of it. Ah, I'm so excited to ink this up. There's my first ever platinum fountain pen. And it looks so, so pretty. And I'm really excited to see how it writes. But first, what else comes in the box? We got a little info card, more instructional manuals, and also a cartridge, a platinum proprietary cartridge, I guess. I've never had a platinum pen. That's interesting. It has a little silver ball in it that I guess you go pop. 
nice to know I got that, but I'm gonna fill it up with my own ink, so there we go. Before I test out these four inks and also my new pen, I also wanted to share a little thing that I also got from Amazon. So in terms of my journaling system, I am still using my Hope Nietzsche Cousin, but for now, I've also added in um, this V6 size Stalogy, which this was actually my bullet journal for like a good chunk of 2020. I decided to bust this out again because I kind of just wanted something to like write stuff down in kind of morning pages style, I guess, writing whatever thought that just comes into my mind. And it's very therapeutic and it's kind of nice just to have like an ugly writing journal because I love the B6 size so much and I'm really enjoying this like writing journal system. I decided to get a fresh new one. So check that fresh notebook feel. Hell yeah. But yeah, like, you know, look at this, look like at this freshness here. This is, I'm really excited to start using this one. I already can't wait to like finish all the pages in this one. Um, it's been going really well though. So this will be nice. And then also because I feel like I just need a notebook cover for everything. I have a lot of A5 size and a lot of A6 size notebook covers, but I have zero B6 size covers to accommodate this new writing journal that I am using now. So I bought something that I have been wanting to buy for a while, but I just never really had a reason to buy it. And that is a Motrim cover. First off, cute bear sticker. I have bought a Motum cover before, but it was like a teeny tiny little pocket ring size planner. And I think it was like in their lychee leather, which is like their soft pebbled leather. And let me tell you, I, I do love that ring planner, but I think maybe I am the kind of person that prefers like a stiffer leather and not something so floppy and squishy. So I was kind of hesitant about buying another boat trim cover, but I really wanted something in like embossed croc leather texture situation. I will be honest, <laughs> this is not my initial reaction. I actually unboxed this last night when it arrived because I was so hesitant about the color that I really need to know whether or not it was going to work out. When I was trying to look up this particular colorway on on, like YouTube to see videos on it. It kind of just seemed like it wasn't that popular of a color slash couldn't find that many people that had it and also loved it because I guess there's like a trend in the Moterm community where they take like acetone or nail polish remover to like get rid of like the, the extra color on the planner. And I was like, that's not reassuring that people are getting this just to change the color because they don't like it. But I decided just to go for it anyways. And um, spoiler alert, I really, really love the color. So I don't know, I'll just do like a very dramatic re enactment right now of like when I opened it last night and I found out that I actually did love it. So here we go. <clears throat> well, I guess we're gonna see if you like the planner or not. I know, I'm kind of nervous. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, that's kind of uh, anticlimactic. Well, it's nice that it comes with a dust bag. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Feels pretty good. <gasps> I love it. It basically went something like that. But yeah, I really, really love this color. I don't know, people say they don't like like the darker shading on it and they like rub it off to like make it all like the same color as the lighter shading. And um, I'm not gonna do that because I really, the darker shading is actually the color that I was looking for. So this is like perfect. I will say the bookmarks are probably the weakest part of this planner cover, which I knew that when I was buying it. Um, most people seem to not like it and I am no different. They're not my favorites. And there's a very good chance that I might end up like lopping this off, but we'll see. I will say it smells a little little weird, but it, I don't, it's not that bad. <laughs> It smells a little weird, but it's like the kind of smell where I'm like, this will definitely go away in like a few days. I'm pretty, sh pretty sure. <coughs> yeah, it smells weird, but I don't really mind it. It's not that strong. Yeah, it just feels like really, really good. I am for one very excited to use this. I'm gonna set the new notebook to the side to crack into at a later date. I'm gonna put my current one in there. Aye, there we go. Yeah, that feels really good. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. It feels really, really nice. But yeah, this is uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. So yay. Now that that's out of the way, I get to try out my new fountain pen and also all these other fountain pen inks. So please hold one moment. So here we go. Robert Oster Pinky is gonna go in the new baby.
So the first pen I'm gonna swatch is obviously gonna be my brand new one, my Platinum 3776 Century uh, in the medium nib. And the thing that I'm noticing about this nib right off the bat is that it's kind of huge. Like if I compare it to my Pilot Prera over here, it is a big nib. <laughs> It's a very beautiful nib, but it is very big, and I did notice that writing with it kind of feels different, and I think I have to get used to it because your fingers do end up being like a little bit farther from the page than you might be used to, unless you do hold your pen like a little higher up. I do hold mine very close to the nib slash close to the paper, so it is something that I think I need to get used to, but this pen writes unexpectedly smooth. I kind of hear that it has a lot of feedback, and that's not what I'm experiencing here. Maybe it's just my pen, but I kind of expected it to feel more like a sailor pen that has like a ton of like paper feedback that that feels like you're writing with a pencil on paper. But no, this one's like very, very smooth. And this Robert Oster Pinky is such a pretty, pretty color and I am really enjoying this matchup with this pen. So since my platinum pen is a 14 karat nib, I'm gonna keep going with the ink swatches uh, with my next 14 karat nib, which is this Pilot E95S in the burgundy ivory colorway with a fine nib. This has Deatramentus document ink in fog gray. And I'm really, really really liking this kind of steely blue color. Like it feels very um, kind of down to earth and maybe almost professional without being too boring, like a black or a blue black ink. I just don't vibe with blue black inks. Sometimes I like black inks, but not blue black. <laughs> Next is my Pilot Prera in the soft blue colorway in a fine nib. And this one has the, oh God, the Takeda Jimuki Kyo no Oto Hisoku ink in it, which is just such a pretty like kind of pale blue green ink and it feels very soothing to look at. And this is a very fine nib. So I would be curious to see how this ink does in like a much broader nib that puts down a lot more ink, but well, uh, I'll try that again some other time. And then lastly, uh, in my Traveler's Company Brass Fountain Pen in Factory Green, that's also a fine nib. I put Robert Oster Avocado, which is also like a very soothing color to look at. It's like a very pretty leafy green color and I, I really I really gravitate towards like kind of earthy soft colors in my inks I think. <laughs> I've started to collect a lot of greens and a lot of browns but yeah so these ink colors are really really beautiful and I'm super super happy with all of them. I, I think I chose very well for this uh, ink haul round so yay for me. <laughs> That is it for my stationery haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of video or not, um, and if you want to see more videos like this. I mean, I enjoy watching them myself, but I guess I feel kind of weird filming them for my own channel. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.